Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Oh, happy June. We're in June now, aren't we? Um, it's half past six. And I'm out. Jenny, I've been awake since five and I thought, oh, I'll bring her out now while it's quiet and nice and cool for her. Um, I got a croaky voice because I hadn't realised because I've not spoken to anybody yet today. Can you walk, Jenny? Come on. Um, I've got some boot stuff to show you and <clears throat> hopefully it'll be busy. Saturday was a nice busy day in the shop so I'm hoping this week it will continue with it being half term and people are down to Devon on holiday so fingers crossed. Um, beautiful again today, it's forecast to be another sunny hot day. Um, had a really really nice weekend, got all my babies under one roof last night for the first time in a long time so that was really nice we made an Indian meal made some mosas and chapatis some curry and everything it was really nice um yeah it just feels lovely to have all my babies home <laughs> right I'm gonna take Jenny for a little walk get some fresh air and then hopefully get home and get in the shower before my son gets up and takes over Is vlogging it's just gone 10 o'clock shops all set up um can you see on the counter there some baskets i got a collection of small baskets this sort of size so i'm just pressing them up i'm putting them outside because baskets are good for outside i also got a big sort of laundry basket um that i've put outside already i'll take a photo and show you because i was up awake early i've already had two cups of tea this morning so um got myself a slice of lemon in hot water see how I get on with that I'm trying to cut down on my tea consumption I know it's too hot to drink um one of the first things I've got to show you that I picked up on Sunday is a tea set so I got a set of six cups saucers plates and a teapot a creamer and a sugar bowl and then like a sandwich plate um they are they're all slightly different but they're all from the 1977 um queen silver jubilee um so like this one is buckingham palace and this one is hollywood and what's this one Westminster Abbey. I think rather than selling them as a set, I'll sell them separately, um, in little sets, if you know what I mean. So the cups and saucers I'll sell as a set, and a teapot I'll set alone, and then the other little plates I'll set as, sell as a little set. And I think that way I will achieve better money for them. I've got a little bit of a headache today, my body adjusting to the change in season I think I always get this at the beginning of a hot period it's like my body's going what's all this bright light uh, so I tend to get headaches my body's far too sensitive <laughs> so I don't know if I'd said so yesterday Sunday um, up until Saturday afternoon I planned on doing my normal two car boots one in the morning and one in the afternoon and it works out really well and it doesn't start too early, it's all great. But then I realised, I saw a Facebook post and the afternoon one, one was cancelled because the, although we've had a couple of nice days, most of May has been raining and the field is waterlogged. So um, that was off. So then it was like, oh. So I decided to try out the one in Exeter, early morning one, 
that hasn't been going since the beginning of all this COVID stuff and it was the first week back. Um, so it meant getting up at six, well, leaving the house at quarter to six. Um, got there and it was absolutely pants. There was like half the amount of stores that there normally would be. I went to one house clearance guy, picked out half a dozen things, a couple of money boxes that were absolutely covered in grime, an old cigar box, a couple of little silver plated things and some salt and pepper shakers. And I said, oh, how much are those? Thinking he'd say about a fiver. And he said 20 quid and I just sort of went, no thanks and walked off. I thought I'm not even going to start that debate. Um, yeah, so I didn't get a lot from there. I did get a couple of things, but really not a lot. Anyway, the w later morning one was good. And that's where I got the majority of the stuff that I'm showing you today. Surprisingly enough, just after I'd bought that tea set, I went to another store and exactly the thing, it's exactly the same. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it's exactly the same teapot from another store, but blue and white teapots, it's a no-brainer. And then I got a nice stoneware jug as well. And then I will show you bits as I get them out of the boxes. Okay, so from the early morning car boot, I think I only picked up two things, and that's because I was desperate. <laughs> I got this ginger jar. Um, I find that ginger jars are really popular, especially the blue and white ones. So I always try and pick those up if I can. Um, I'm not very good at dating these things, so I just sell them as decorative items. I'm sure that um, Edward would go, oh, that's a modern piece, or that's worth 11 to billion, but I just, it's too complicated. And then I got some Le Creuset. Now, it's not in the best nick. I'll show you the inside. It's so heavy, aren't they? Um, it's like that inside. And then the lid has got this sort of marking around there. Can you see that? And I did notice there was one tiny bit on the edge. Can't see it now. Where the enamel seems a bit more there. Can you see that tiny bit there? You can hear it with my nail rubbing again. It's a bit of ASMR. Um, so I'm not sure how much to charge for that one. I don't have a lot of experience of selling the Crusade. I've sold a few bits that was lucky enough to get at auction. Um, any ideas? Let me know. So do you remember a couple of car boots ago when I bought a whole bag for about a fiver off some um, house clearance people? So the same house clearance, clearance people were there again. Um, they weren't doing everything so cheap this time. But I did get a selection of stuff from them. It's a little bit of a random mix. I'll show you what I got. Um, I think this was from them. Elephant possibly was from a different stall. This, these were definitely from them. A couple of little pewter, um, like shot glass things. Um, a couple of aeroplane metal. Um, I don't know. My husband picked those up. I don't know why, but. You know, they'll go over on my shelf. Um, I got a little wooden car. I got a really pretty little blue and gold coffee can. Um, that is Fine Bone China, Crown, Crown Staffordshire. I just really love the clock colour. That's what attracted me to it. I got a White Horse Whiskey water jug. A nice old um, tin. I got a money box. Trotters Independent Trading Co. Don't know whether that's old or not. Um, I got a couple of rings which I just were attracted to. Uh, both amber style. Whether they're amber or not, I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to ask Lex, aren't I? For her opinion this one fits rather nicely it's quite thin i mean to me it looks like silver there is some sort of mark on the band but i can't make it out especially today with my eyes not being quite so right this one i'm not so sure it seems a bit too shiny um strange sort of setting can you see there's a sort of gap there 
the band is a little bit bent and it feels a bit flimsy but again there is some sort of mark on the inside so Lex let me know what you think I love how this one sort of forms around your ring think well around your finger so that one might just stay with me um, I think that was all that from that from that store I picked up this couldn't resist it because I've still got those um, matching bowls and I've got a couple of mugs it's like I'm creating a little collection in this pattern so had to be done uh, you know me can't resist a paper mache box I think this was when I was desperate at the first car boot I picked that one up uh, a few more bits I'll show you in a minute it's very quiet in the shop um, a few more bits to show you um, I forgot to show you one other thing I got from those um, the from the house clearance stand I got this um, West German pottery Ooh, ooh echo um, Tall bars um, This is what it is I got um, a couple of wooden animals A giraffe, because people are always asking me for giraffes So I thought I saw it and I picked it up And the owl, because it was cute um, I got this Probably shouldn't have um, it's very modern, um, but I thought people like this kind of thing, so I picked it up. But now that I've seen it's got quite heavy crazing on it, so I'll probably just get a bit of money on that. This um, was in a 20p box, I couldn't resist. Can't resist a jug for 20p. <laughs> um, I saw this, I rather liked it. Studio Pottery Mug gorgeous glaze on that sort of a purple drip glaze can you see that it's gorgeous and then it's got all this detail around the bottom um it has got a stamp so it's like air so it's, um island and then this dragonfly so that hopefully should be fairly easy to look up and all that glaze goes in the inside isn't that gorgeous very nice i also picked up this just because it might sell it's just a wine stopper sort of a silver plated wine stopper but it was new looking um did i show you all the bits so far i uh, had a look inside both of these rings so this one and this one and they're both stamped 925 um that doesn't always mean that it is silver though does it was it this one that's got some other stamp as well in it yeah i think this one has got some other stamp in it as well but I think I'm going to keep that one because that one fits me nicely whereas that one is too big right let's get on and show you some oh I've got a right corker for you right are you ready for an absolute corker here we go there's my thumbnail um, <laughs> really? Oh, there's a butterfly in there as well. Oh, it's amazing. No, actually, what I thought was, I mean, it's only, I don't, I think that is glass, actually. I'm not sure. The bottom's plastic. It feels cold like glass. My thoughts were people are always looking for these glass dome things. And if I could somehow get it off the plastic base and get rid of the flowers I could sell it as a domey thing that was my thoughts because it was 20p and I thought it'd be a little project unless somebody wants to buy it as it is anybody any takers let me know uh somebody had these with things on their stall and I said oh are your stands for sale and she said oh yeah, I guess so. 50p each. So I bought them all. Different sizes. Because I'm always short of these for the shop. These ones look very nice as well. They have got a maker's mark on the back. Not selling them. They're for me. Uh, I've got two of that two of that style. And the others are the more traditional wood ones. These were from the same store. I got a an Art Nouveau style pastimes frame. I got this Marks and Spencer's double frame with sort of flowers 
like a folding frame. I thought that was quite nice. This was from a different store. Now, can I remember how to do it? So he had this on his table and I said, oh, what's that? Looks interesting. He said, wait, I will show you. It's a money box. Well, there's no obvious entrance, but he said, you lift this out, you turn it slightly, not too far, there is your money box. Then how did you open it up? Can I remember this? How do you open it up to get the money out? Give me a few minutes. Okay, I've worked it out. So you've taken this bit out of here, you twist this slightly, then you push this down and you can twist it to the side and then you can get the money out. Isn't that clever? Intriguing. It's about half past 12, it's very quiet. I've had um, two sales today. In fact, I think I've only had two people come in. No, three, I've had three people come in, two sales. Um, I'm actually really hungry. I've just sent a text to my son to see if he'll make me tea and toast, but we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. If not, I'll lock up in a few minutes and go upstairs and make myself something to eat. It's just, I've got all the stuff outside, so I have to either take a gamble and run upstairs and get something and come back, or bring it all in. I kind of, the builder who works next door, he often sits in his van and has lunch, so I try and time it when he's sat in his van, because I reckon nobody will nick stuff if he's sat there in his van. <laughs> so, um, that's my plan. So um, thank you to Charlotte who bought one of the planters that I showed you in my video the other day. Um, I posted it this morning, obviously bank holiday weekend delayed things slightly, but I posted it this morning, so you should get that soon. Thank you very much. Um, if you see anything that you really like, then get in touch. I can always add it to my website and you can buy it through there. Um, I'm gonna check out Avon because it's the first of the month isn't it so their offers will have changed so i'm gonna see i've literally just done an order yesterday for my vitamin c serum while it's was still on offer last month and the face sunscreen i think somebody's gonna can't remember what i was saying um i just had a couple of quick sales so that's nice um a chat bought a uh what do you call brain's gone blank bucket and a big vase and he said they're in a little yellow sports car with no boot or back seat or anything and they'd already bought a big basket and a big huge bunch of flowers <laughs> he said I don't know how we're gonna fit this in the car anyway that's their problem not mine <laughs> I think I was saying I was going to check out the Avon website because it's a new month so there'll be new deals and things so I want to have a look see what there is um because I always like to look if my faves are on offer. So last month I topped up on my vitamin C and that um, I, I've been trying out the new face sunscreen. I've been using that every day and it's not as, it's quite claggy to put it on, but after a while, after it's soaked in, it's not bad at all. So I've been using that daily. Um, I'm happy with that. So that was on a buy one, get one free last month don't know if it's still on offer I'll let you know the final thing that I got from the auction was a box of Hornsey pottery um I didn't really properly look at it she just said it was a fiver for the full, full box so I said yeah okay um whether I ever paid I don't know I've never I haven't really sold this stuff for ages I don't know what the price is like now um Here let's have a look what I initially thought was five has got to be worth it for the butter dish alone, but now I've noticed that this is chipped, so I'm hoping that it's not all broken. There's some mugs. I mean, that doesn't look broken. I have to go through it properly. I didn't even properly look at it. I figure for a fiver I've got to be on some profit. Haven't What's I? your favourites then? Come on, let me know. What do you like best? I think mine is this ring, because it's a keeper. Uh, now he's sat out there. Now he's sat out there. Now, luckily, my son brought me tea and toast. Yay. Um, I need to get this stuff priced up. I've literally just put it all over there on my desk. I need to get it all priced up and out in the shop. 
and then do some other stuff. God, I sound ridiculous today, don't I? My brain, it's almost like it's going on slow motion today. I feel like everything's an effort to get. I don't feel ill. I just feel like my brain's on a slow motion. And then when I'm talking, I'm having to concentrate a lot more. It's only half past two but I'm gonna round up the vlog because all I'm doing is pressing up that stuff and the vlogs long enough already and I've got nothing else to say apart from happy belated birthday to my sister-in-law she's watching I've already said it but you know say it again why not I won't sing again though nobody needs to hear that right I am gonna go I'd love for you to leave a comment. I really appreciate the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.